These may look like your everyday AA and AAA rechargeable batteries that you can find anywhere in your house, but they're not. They may be $5 for the pair and super cheap, but these aren't your everyday batteries. Why? Because these have USB Type-C ports integrated in them, which is crazy when you think about it. A USB Type-C port circuitry integrated into such tiny batteries. Insane. But is it actually any good? Does it actually work? Does it actually have 1.5 volts? Well, stay tuned to find out. We're going to check it out. We're going to put it in some devices. We're going to use it, see if it actually works, see if you can charge it. And how do you even know if it's fully charged or not? Can you even know? I don't know. But stay tuned. We're going to check it out. So here's how they came in these non-branded plain box with these USB type A splitter cables with two USB type male ports at the end of it. So that's how you charge them up. So of course you can get what it looks like a pack of fours as well, but we got a pack of twos because we wanted to just try it out and see if they're any good first. Uh, they did cost around four pounds for the pack, so four pounds for two packs of double A's and four pounds for two packs of triple A's. So you're looking around five dollars, which in rupees is around probably around 500 rupees you're looking around so they're not badly priced that's actually quite well that's that's quite a good price now normal rechargeable batteries probably around the two pound mark so this is probably 50 percent more pricier but obviously it's a lot more convenient it's got a usb type c port which everyone would have a usb type c cable available in hand these days uh, either built into your power banks or you have it on your phones or your cameras or Pretty much anything and everything has USB Type-C, so you can always find a USB Type-C cable to charge these up, which is pretty cool, and yeah, that's pretty amazing. So it's really simple, comes with these and these. Here we have the actual batteries, so I've got them from Timu, my favourite website, of course, you get really cool stuff from Timu. And I'll put the link to buy down in the description, but these are by a company called Pujimax, and they claim to have 3,400 milliwatt hours and 1.5 volts lithium ion rechargeable batteries so of course lithium ion guys always be careful with lithium ion batteries don't ever just leave them on charge overnight or anything like that because lithium ion can be quite dangerous but here we have the tiny ones here so these are the AAA batteries 1100 milliamp milliwatt hour again Puji Max 1.5 volts so how easy are these to charge so you simply just plug them in and that one decided to roll away I can clearly my floor isn't level and you hear a click so you gotta make sure you push it in firmly until you hear that click so sometimes you think okay cool that's in no hear that click and that's now in so let's try these two here and I'm curious if there's like any sort of LED light or an indicator anywhere to let you know if these are even charged or not because how the hell do you know there's no LED indicators or nothing like that but Build quality feels right, the print feels good, cable feels nice, so build quality wise I feel I can kind of trust it. So let's put these in a USB port and see if they charge up and see if there's any lights or any sort of indication to know if they're even charged or not. So I have got a wall plug with two USB type A ports ready to charge things so you can plug it straight into there. And look at that, they do have an LED light, so that is flashing green, crazy. Put this one in. Oh, and the USB on the um, the AAA ones, you can see here, it's like half green, or is it like, does it all go green when it's fully charged? But they are flashing green currently, which means, I guess they're charging. So let's leave it to flash green and see what happens when it's fully charged. Maybe it's a stable green, and maybe when they're dying, maybe they flash red. I don't know. But that is cool, they've integrated LEDs into such a tiny little circuit as well. So it's not only just a USB Type-C port, they've also integrated LEDs into this. That's crazy. So the batteries are now fully charged. Um, they stop blinking when they're fully charged. It's just a solid green light. Uh, it's not like a light bar or circle or indicator to say how much charge it is. It's just flashing green when it's charging and fully green when it's fully charged. Um, but... All of these batteries here, the AA and the AAA, they both claim to have 1.5 volts. So let's actually check that with our multimeter. So I've tested the multimeter, making sure that that works. And then we can check both these batteries. So we've got the AAA battery here first. Let's just go ahead and check that. And we have got 1.514 volts. 
lovely, so that is actually 1.5 volts. We've got our AA battery here. That is 1.514 volts as well. We've got our other AAA battery here, which is 1.502 volts. 1.49, 1.5, so it's fluctuating, but it's pretty much bang on 1.5 volts. And then we've got the last AA battery, if it stays put. 1.514 volts, so they are all 1.5 volts, so not been scammed there, they genuinely are 1.5 volts in here. So we'll go ahead and put these in my remote controls and um, we'll try it out really. That's pretty much all I've got that take batteries these days, remote controls, so for the TV and uh, set top boxes. So we'll put it in there and uh, hopefully it works and we'll see how it is. Right, so I've put the AAA batteries on my SkyQ remote and uh, it all seems to be working fine. Look at that. Works like a charm. There you go. Now let's try out the AA batteries. Right, so now let's move on to the AA batteries. So I've got one inside of this shaver over here, which you can see right there. There we go. And this works absolutely fine, lights up, shaver turns on, really good to know. And we tried the other one as well, lights up, shaver works fine, which is awesome. So this works like a charm. Now on this one here, I've got another battery inside of here, shaver works, as you can see. If I take this battery out, this is just a standard battery, and we put the rechargeable battery into here, which is the one with the USB Type-C port. There you go. Put that in. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Now, I don't know why. It's very weird. It works absolutely fine on this shaver, but not on this one. So, I'm guessing it's probably got something to do with the amount of amp draw that this shaver has. Maybe it's a bit more powerful. The bushes and the motor in there draws a bit more current. So it's, this battery just doesn't put out enough amperage for it to work compared to another standard normal battery. I'm not too sure to be honest with you. I mean, if you guys think you know what it would be, put it down in the comment below what you think would be the cause as to why the battery doesn't work on this shaver but it works on other shavers and it works on normal remote controls so yeah not too sure but if you guys got an idea or think you know what it is pop it down in the comment below but that's the only drawback i found of this battery so it works absolutely fine they charge absolutely fine they're really good works like a charm i mean it does what it's meant to do and it works on remote controls it just doesn't work on that one shaver that's the only thing i've noticed so because of that, I think there is something with the batteries where it doesn't have a lot of power to give out a lot of amps. So it doesn't work on stuff that draws a bit more current is what I, I think anyway. So because of that, I'm going to give it a score of 8 out of 10. And that's still really high because what they've created here in such a small, compact little space is insane. It's super convenient, super useful. Everyone has a USB-C cable lying around, so it's super easy to charge up your batteries. You know, rechargeable batteries, the only annoying part was that you had to carry around these stupid plugs with you every time you wanted to use it. If you're going abroad on holiday and you want to take some rechargeable batteries, you've got to carry this plug around with you as well if you need to charge it up when you're there. And then if you need to charge up and it's got different, like, plug sockets, you've got to get adapters for the plug sockets. It was just such a faff. Whereas with this technology, so much, so much more better to just have a USB Type-C port. So easy, and it's got an LED indicator to show you whether it's charged or not, so... Yeah, definitely going to set 8 out of 10. If you are interested in purchasing it, link to buy will be down in the description. And I have to say, this is a really, really good product. But just bear in mind that on some items, it may not work. So just keep that in mind. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And have a good one.